Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to resolve an error that you might be receiving within Windows 10. And specifically the error code would be 0x80070570. So I noticed that some people are commenting this after the Windows 10 anniversary update that was released about, I'd say, a month or so ago. So I just wanted to make a brief tutorial of a quick way to resolve this issue. Now, like in all tutorials, this is not guaranteed to work for everybody, but I do find that this seems to have a fairly high success rate. So I wanted to make a brief tutorial today showing this method. And it's pretty simple, it's very straightforward, that's why I don't really think there's that much harm in trying to do it. So jumping right into it, what we're going to do is head over to our start menu and we're going to type in this PC. So it should be listed right above a desktop app, so you want to left click on that. Now underneath devices and drivers, find your main drive. In most cases it will be your local disk C drive. So you want to right click on it and then left click on properties. Underneath the tools tab at the top you want to left click on that. And then underneath error checking it says this option will check the drive for file system errors. You want to left click on this button that says check. So you might receive a pop up saying you don't need to scan this drive disregard this message and then left click on scan drive and you, you will see that it says here you can keep using the drive during the scan if errors are found you can decide if you want to fix them just left click on this button I personally recommend you abstain from using your computer while running an error check but that's just me so depending on your hard drive size this will take a little bit so just give it some time and once it's done scanning I will be right back Hello everyone, I'm back. So we can see that our drive was successfully scanned and no errors were fortunately found. However, in many cases you will receive a notification saying that errors were found. And then just follow the on-screen instructions from there specifically on how to resolve any issue you might have. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.